everyone welcome back to homestead corner today we're going to make an alternative cooking source that we can use to cook inside when the grid is down So today we are going to grab up some of our stuff that's just junk. Most people are normally throwing this stuff away, but it's important to recycle as much as we can, get the most out of what we have to pay for. So today we're going to make what they call a buddy burner. And it's they teach this in Boy Scouts, the Girl Scouts, it's super simple and easy to do. And you use stuff that you typically would throw away. So we're gonna use a couple of, um, you need an empty tuna can or chicken or whatever, those low-sided cans. If you don't have any of those, you can cut a big can, but you don't want it too high because it won't burn properly. So we're also going to use some just junk wax, the stuff that's left over in the bottom of the candle that doesn't burn. I dig that right out or pour it into a container. Um, we save all that broken crayons anything waxy is going to work for this um, You can melt down new candles if you want to if you don't have any that you have burned But we always save that wax I keep a little baggy and we just chuck it in and then we have it and we can use it for all different kinds of fire starting um, Which is great and it doesn't cost anything um, and then we're going to use just another can to melt our wax in. So any size can, you just want it big enough to hold your wax. So how many ever you're going to do. And then a piece of cardboard. Um, I just cut the top off a box, one of the flaps, and we're going to use this. And we're going to whip up a couple of buddy burners today. This is super simple, so easy to do. And you can cook inside your home and it's safe. So you don't have to worry about cooking outside if the grid goes down and you don't want anyone smelling your food or anything like that. You do it right inside with this. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, to get started, I've just got a small pot. We're going to put it, I got, I don't know, an inch or so of water in the bottom. We just want to get this boiling so we can melt our wax down and won't we'll ruin your pot because it's going to be in this can. So we're just going to put this up on high and bring it up to a boil. And we're gonna, our can's gonna float until we get some of that wax in there. And just set that right there for a second. And we're just gonna take our wax, and any kind of wax is good for this. This is just old candle stuff. A lot of times when it gets down, right when it goes out on its own, I'll pour it into a little bowl, and then I can throw it in the freezer, and um, I've got these little chunks of leftover wax here. So that's just, I'm using just scraps and junk. You can break up a candle or throw a candle in there and melt it down. Um, you can put crayons in here. If you've got some broken old crayons, that works too. So we're just gonna put all these in there and this is probably gonna be a really hideous color, but that's okay. I don't care what it looks like. Function, that's what it's all about, is function. So just get that right in there. All those wax bits and crumbles. And then we just want to heat this up Get that in there without making too much of a mess. I don't want to wreck my pan, but you know, it happens. Get that out of there. All right, so we're just going to melt this down. And while we're melting this down, we're going to go over and start getting the cardboard ready. So any type of cardboard is going to work. You definitely want to use something corrugated so you've got a little airflow in there. It's not too compressed. If you use like a cereal box cardboard, it's not going to work quite as well. And I'm just going to take my can and I'm going to measure how, how deep I want this. So I'm kind of going to give myself a little lip there so it's not quite all the way. And I'm just going to mark on the board, on the cardboard. And that way I know how deep I want to cut it. I want it to kind of fit inside the can and, uh, and not, not be sticking out because that way we can use it for cooking, we can use it for heating, we can use it for light, um, anything you would use a little candle for. This is great for cooking in the house because it's safe. And we're just going to cut along that line. So I've got a nice big piece of cardboard, just long skinny piece. Just 
just like so. And then we've got this strip of cardboard. I'm going to make two of these today. So we're just going to take this and roll it up. I've removed the tape from the outside of the box because I don't want to burn that tape. Not that good for you. Just want to roll it up kind of tight. Not squishing it, but, but tight. So we're just going to roll this up. And we may need two. This might not be quite long enough. No, nope, we're going to need another one. Just to, we want it to be tight in there. So we're going to cut one more of these and just give us enough for the entire thing because we want that to be full. Okay, so once we have enough cardboard to fit this in our can, we're just going to cut this end off. We'll use that for another one. There's no waste here. And we're just going to squeeze this into our can. And we don't really want it to unravel too much. We want it to be nice and full, like so. So I'm just going to cut up some more cardboard and fill up another can while we're waiting for our wax to melt. And I'm just keeping an eye on that wax because once it's all melted down, then we're ready to go. This is so simple and easy. Okay, so once your wax is all melted and liquidy in there, you're, depending on how big your can is, this one is warm but not too bad on the top, but if you've got a shorter can, you definitely could use a pot holder for this. You want to be careful not to get burned. This wax is super hot. We're just going to cover these cardboards with wax. We're going to pour it right in there. Oh, that's kind of a cool shade of green. I was expecting it to be... A turd brown. We're just going to pour these in nice and slow so this is filled up with wax. We want it plenty of wax in there and then we're going to do the same on this one. And you can do as many of these as you want, which is wonderful. They are great. They're not going to go bad. You can get them ahead and have them ready to go in the pantry. So you have got a way to cook without cooking outside. So you're nice and safe. All right. So we're just going to let these sit until they're completely cool. And I'll show you how they work. So once your buddy burners are all cooled down and the wax is nice and solid, they are ready to use. Um, we're going to light one up and boil some water. So the easiest thing that I have found, uh, you want to do this on a heat safe surface because this is going to get pretty hot on the bottom while it's burning. Um, you want it in a pan uh, deep enough. To, so you can put a rack over it and this it can still get air in there so it can the flame can stay ignited so you could put you know a couple of empty pots upside down and set a rack across but I find this works really well for this because there's still a little room for air in there and you could set your pan on top and not snuff out the fire so um, so all you want to do is I'm just going to rough up this cardboard a little bit kind of stick it in there get a little bit of air in there and just so it's going to light and the cardboard is actually your wick for this so it's really easy to do and you want a little bit of that cardboard sticking out but it's going to burn up the wax and keep it going for a good long time We got a little flame going there and we're just going to let that get going good and the flame will come up and then we can start our water. Okay, so once we have a nice good flame going, I'm going to just put my grate on top and we can add our pan of water or soup or whatever you need to cook. It's got a good solid flame in there 
and I'm gonna cover this over and it's gonna heat up really fast. So you can see we are about four minutes in and we still have a nice super flame down there. It is going wonderfully and we are almost to a boil. It is very steamy and hot. So we're just gonna see how long this takes to get a good rolling boil going. Okay, we got a nice rolling boil there. Perfect, it's been just about 10 minutes. And so you can definitely cook up whatever you need to. So this is a super simple project. Anybody can make this. All you need is a heat source to melt down your wax and then you can have them ready to go when you need them. It is going to last for hours and hours because that wax just really does a great job just like a candle does and basically your um, cardboard is the wick and the whole thing gets going really nice and it brings it up to it brings your water or food whatever you're cooking up to a boil pretty quickly. It took about 10 minutes for me to get that um, boiling uh, with a cover on and it was about the same amount as a can of soup. So you could definitely heat up food pretty quick inside and you can be safe about it because the wax is just like burning a candle in your home. It's no more dangerous than that. You just want to, you know, stay with it and pay attention to it because it does get a much bigger flame because you have such a good size wick. But these are great to make up with stuff that you'd normally throw away. It doesn't really cost you anything and it doesn't really take that long as far as time. It's basically just waiting for the wax to cool down and you could just leave until the next day or whatever until you get ready to come back to them. It's not going to hurt them. And then I store them in a sandwich bag or a big Ziploc bag. And then when we need them, we could just pull one out. They're great outdoors because they are really hard to blow out. So if it's windy, it's going to stay lit. Um, you can use a couple of bricks with a grate on top. That way you can, you know, that flame, you want to make sure there's some, a little bit of space over that. So it's high enough so the flame gets plenty of air so it can really get going and get your food cooking. But that's it. Super simple and easy. Recycle those items and make free little burners that you can cook on in your home safely in an emergency. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye!